you know, my my name Lily is a flower. <laughs> so, <laughs> in my own words, um, I love plants, especially water lily. <laughs> in Chinese culture, we represent, uh, you know, the the beauty inside and outside. I get to know the plants uh, since I, I I was 16 years old when I start my university. I think at the beginning I take plants as a research object, but with the time when I get to know the plants, I was amazed by how you know how beautiful the plants and how many use you know we they almost provide us everything and also how intelligent they are. So when I did some research on plants, I think plants changed my attitude to the nature. So they are not passive. They are really very active. They are very intelligent and uh, even spiritual. So um, there are so many things touch me about plants. So they they just have all the virtues and uh, all the you know the the things I'm I'm looking for. They just uh, come uh, something I really admire. So I want to have close relationship with the plants and know them better. And uh, I think they help me grow and then know more about the world. They help me grow to be a better person. You know, they they almost be a role model for me. I want to explore. Um, I want to to live a you know full field life and whatever I, I can find in plants. When I work with the plants, you know, do research about plants, and um, I know deeper for the even for the structure function, but that helped me um, know them better from not casually um, relationship because I get to very close to observe them, to um, study them. So I think that research um, helped me understand them better so i was amazed how perfect of plants their function their structure all are beautiful and also very you know efficient it's the seems a perfect uh, organism i often work in the uh, forestry you know observe them all year round and also I like art so I at the beginning I just press the plants for for identification you know for academic function but and then I developed the interest to use the um, different part of plants create art and also they can make all kind of um, beautiful products like uh, uh, bookmark like a uh, uh, greeting card, like, uh, you know, some, um, you, you can frame them and then become just like, uh, you know, painting. So I used to plant create, when, when I do this, you know, artwork, used to plant material, I, I was fascinated with, you know, how beautiful they are. And uh, also, you know, I extract the essential oil and when I did medicinal, uh, plants research. So I found they have many, um, you know, present uh, um, ingredients. So you can use them for beauty products. And uh, also I teach plant pathology. You can use them to uh, cure the disease and they have all kinds of functions. So, uh, so they, they just can can be everything. <laughs>
I think Eastern and the West, they have different approach um, to plants. And uh, I think it's not too much different Eastern and West. I think it's Asian time and the modern time. I think at the beginning, human being has more close relationship with the plants because plants provide them everything. So they, they have close relationship with plants. And also they treat plants more personally, you know, as a creature. And I think now we treat plants um, as a material to see what they can provide for us. But sometimes we forget the whole picture. Now I think we start to um, come back to, you know, to find out that that relationship with plants is really meaningful, not only, you know, benefit for for human being, but also for the whole ecosystem. All of the, you know, people all over the world, they all love the plants. It's just a big, um, because of the, you know, modernization, um, we are detached uh, with nature. So we forgot if plants are another creature, just the difference uh, from us. So now we realize that we we just restore the relationship with plants. So I, I read the article about uh, it's us manipulate plants or plants manipulate yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe it's opposite. So um, now I do believe I, I think they are really high, highly intelligent.